It is written, now the righteousness of God without the law is manifested being missed by the law and the prophets. Even the righteousness of God, which is by faith of Jesus Christ unto all and upon all of them that believe. For there is no difference, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, being justified freely by His grace, through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, whom God has set forth to be a propitiation through faith in His blood, to declare His righteousness for the remission of sins that are been lost, through the forbearance of God, to declare and say this time His righteousness, that he might be just and the justifier of him which believeth in Jesus. There is boasting then, it is excluded by what law of works may the body law of faith. Therefore we conclude that a man is justified by faith without the deeds of the law. Is he the God of the Jews only? Is he not also of the Gentiles? Yes, of the Gentiles also, seeing it is one God, which shall justify the circumcision by faith, and uncircumcision through faith. Do we then make for the law through faith? God forbid, may we establish the law. What shall we say then that Abraham our father is pertaining to the flesh of fame? For if Abraham were justified by works, he had grown to glory, but not before God. For what saith the scripture? Abraham believed God, and it was killed unto him for righteousness. Now to him that worketh is the reward not reckoned of grace, but of death. But to him that worketh not, but believeth on him that justifieth him God, his faith is guilty for righteousness. Even as David also ascribed the blessedness of the man unto whom God imputed righteousness without works, saying, Blessed are they whose iniquities are forgiven and whose sins are covered. Blessed is the man to whom the Lord will not impute sin. Thank you.